Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today it's time for another YouTube hop. We have some awesome sponsors for you so you can win some nice prizes. And we have also a lot of inspiration. It's all about mixed media and it's all about our favorite tools, supplies, etc. I'm working in the Dyna Weekly Media Journal and I have chesoed my page first. And now I'm using the Brusho Acrylic Mist Sprays. These are uh, water soluble sprays. They are similar to the Distress um, ink sprays, I believe. And I use them with a jelly plate because I really love the texture you get when you apply the paint in this way. Talking about my favorite today, there are a few I'm using on this page. Um, at first, this one is almost my favorite art journal. It's my favorite one of the bigger ones. I also have a handmade smaller one, which I really love. But to create in a little bit bigger way, I really love this Dyna Weekly Media Journal. And when I got my first one, I just ordered a second because I was so in love with it. Another favorite thing on this page are, of course, my own stamps. I took over Rubber Dance in uh, December 2018 and um, it's my passion, it's my favorite. I love pressing stamps and I love designing stamps and of course that's um, one of the reasons I'm using them on this page today. When the ink is dry, I go over with some gesso and a palette knife. As this is a watercolor ink, it will bleed through the gesso and it will create a nice background. Now it's time to go in with some stamps. I'm using the star from the Grungy Stuff stamp set from my store and I use it together with archival ink. I do some second and third generation stamping. That means that I don't ink up the stamp every time I use it, so I get a nice dimensional effect. I'm using the circle from the same stamp set to create a border on the left side of my page. I love adding splatters to my pages because I think it makes them look more vibrant. So I'm using a black acrylic spray from Marabu to add some splatters. One thing what's also my favorite is to stamp any kind of text on the background. This time I'm using the Mixer Sentiment stamp from Rubber Dance. I also love this stamp set because you can stamp it full to any kind of paper, to white paper, pattern paper, or you can emboss it and then cut out the words and build a sentiment on your artwork. I'm also adding in some white splatters with white acrylic ink. I'm coloring in my main images, the rubber dance doodle flowers with watercolors. The palette I'm using is the Michello Mission Gold palette and I really love the vibrancy of these paints.
Before I'm gluing down my flowers, I add some orange splatters with acrylic paint to my background to um, get some of that orange from the flowers on my page so the eye has something to search for on the whole page and that will increase the interest. Now it's time to glue down my flowers. I have cut a little waste from a leftover pad and paper from my stash and I just arrange everything until I'm happy with the result. Finally I'm adding some shadows, I use a Neocolor crayon and create kind of a desk where my waist is setting on and I also will add some shadows to the waist itself. To finish up the page, I'm adding a sentiment that was stamped with the Mixer Sentiment stamp set that I've used on the background to some apricot pattern paper and I just glue down my words. This was my video for today. I hope you enjoy hopping around and don't forget to leave a comment to be in the draw for the prizes. This was my last video before I go on holidays tonight. Um, I have scheduled some videos for you during our holidays. I hope you will enjoy them. And we see us after our holidays in September. Bye!